Welcome back to the Fan Duel. Hurry up. Maria Marino once again from Fantasy Sports Network along with Jim Sonis from Number Fire. It's time now to talk about all the players after week five in the NFL whose stock is down. We're going to start with Doug Baldwin of the Seahawks. He had a whopping one yard <laughs> on Sunday. Discuss, Jim. Yeah, I think that when I was building lineups, if you had told me that the that the Seahawks would score 31 points, I would have been pretty happy because I had a lot of lineups where it was, you know, like Jared Goff with Robert Woods and then bringing it back with Doug Baldwin. If you give me 31 points for Seattle, I would have assumed that Doug Baldwin would have done quite a bit of work in that. He, as you said, did not. Just one target in that game. And I think that because he had seven targets last week, I was kind of willing to overlook the fact that he is playing with that bum knee still. I kind of thought that, hey, you know, I mean, like if he's going to get seven targets against a Rams defense where you can get at them through the slot, maybe this is a good week for Doug Baldwin. And it very clearly was not. He did play 88% of the snaps. Uh, that's up from the 76th the week before that. So he's going to have better days. And I think that we can say that for sure. The Seahawks offense has looked much better now that they've had their offensive line shuffled around the past three weeks have been infinitely better for Seattle than they were before that. But at the same time, if one target uh, and one catch is in the range of outcomes for Doug Baldwin, it's going to be hard to ever really trust him. Now, FanDuel has accounted for this. His price is down to $6,200 for week six. And honestly, that could be pretty tempting, but it's hard to love Tyler Lockett. It's hard to love Nick Van Nett. You can't get into Brandon Marshall. I don't know where to go in this offense because the running backs are split up too. It kind of seems like a situation where I want to just hold off. You know, maybe I can take stabs at some guys every now and then, but there's really no one to trust in this passing game because the Seahawks want to run the football. It seems they're doing so successfully now with that offensive line retooled. And I think that's going to hurt Doug Baldwin quite a bit. So I was super disappointed. Uh, maybe it's a buy low chance here with his price being way down and consensus being way down too. But my confidence in doing so will be much lower than it would have been entering the week. And our producers pointed out to me that Russell Wilson only attempted 21 total passes on Sunday. So this might just be an indictment of the Seahawks offense as a whole, as opposed to just Doug Baldwin. But nonetheless, he's trending down because how can you trust him, like you said, moving forward?